With 57 participating states in Europe, Asia and North America, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe is the world's largest regional security organization. The OSCE is an inclusive forum for dialogue on security issues and a platform for joint action to improve the lives of individuals and communities throughout the OSCE area. The OSCE's approach to security is comprehensive and its engagement covers many relevant areas, from hard security issues such as conflict prevention and arms control, to fostering economic development, ensuring the sustainable use of natural resources, and promoting full respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. The OSCE traces its origins to the Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, which led to the signing of the Helsinki Final Act in 1975, a groundbreaking agreement that established 10 fundamental principles for governing relations between states, focusing on cooperation and the peaceful settlement of disputes. Today, the OSCE is an intergovernmental organization in which all 57 participating states work as equals. Decisions are taken by consensus on a politically binding basis. Each year, a different participating state chairs the organization, with that country's foreign minister serving as chairperson in office. A ministerial council meeting is held annually to review OSCE activities and provide overall direction, while ambassadors meet each week in Vienna at the Permanent Council and the Forum for Security Cooperation. The OSCE has several structures, each with its own area of competence and mandate. The OSCE Secretary-General acts as the representative of the chairperson in office and supports him or her in all activities aimed at advancing the goals of the OSCE. The Secretary-General is also the organization's chief administrative officer and heads the Secretariat, based in Vienna, which directly supports the chairmanship. As a tool of conflict prevention, the High Commissioner on National Minorities, based in The Hague, uses quiet diplomacy and early action to seek resolution of ethnic tensions that might endanger peace, security and stability. The representative on freedom of the media, based in Vienna, provides early warning on violations of freedom of expression and media freedom, and promotes full compliance with OSCE media freedom commitments. The Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights, based in Warsaw, promotes respect for human rights, fundamental freedoms and the rule of law, strengthens democratic institutions, and promotes tolerance and non-discrimination, and acts as the OSCE contact point on Roma and Sinti issues. The Parliamentary Assembly brings together more than 300 lawmakers from the parliaments of OSCE participating states to promote inter-parliamentary dialogue and cooperation. Most of the OSCE's staff and resources are deployed in field operations that support their host countries in the implementation of their OSCE commitments or, like the Special Monitoring Mission to Ukraine, are engaged in crisis management or conflict prevention activities. The OSCE helps to bridge differences and build trust. At no time in recent history has this mission been more vital for European security than it is today. In times of growing division within Europe and increasingly complex transnational and global threats and challenges, the OSCE remains a key regional platform for inclusive dialogue and joint action.